everyone, it's Jojo from Mojo Jojo Plans, and today I'm going to be doing some spreads for my patrons um, that are on my Rockstar tier. They all get um, a personalized spread, whether it be a memory planning spread or just any spread that they are wanting. So today I'm going to be doing all of their spreads, and I'm super excited. I have six spreads to do, um, and all of them kind of chose something different. I have a couple... Um, a couple vertical spreads and a big vertical. I have a daily, um, like the dashboard page that starts the month, like currently page. Um, so yeah, so we're going to just go ahead and dive right in. I'm going to start with Shannon's spread. Um, and she wanted a spread from October 11th to the 17th. Um, and then she just gave me some things where she needs boxes on. So we're gonna make sure that we do some boxes and she just wants an autumn themed, you know, vibe spread with florals and pumpkins and all that good stuff. So I thought what a perfect book to use than planty things, autumn florals and pumpkins because that's literally what she said. Um, and in the back here, if I go towards the back, I have my florals and then we have these so freaking cute pumpkins and I absolutely love these colors. Like love, 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 love. So we're going to make her a really pretty spread with these. And then I also have pulled out um, all of the Happy Planner fall sticker books. I have my autumn boxes ready. Um, so we're just going to dive right in here and I'm going to get her spread started for her. I'm actually really excited to do this because it's not for me, but now I just get to kind of have fun um, and do a spread. So I'm going to go in first with some florals because who doesn't love a good floral? And I do want to mix these with some of the pumpkins. So I do want to get some pumpkins in here as well and kind of do like a pumpkin patch vibed um, thing here. Maybe we can line the bottoms here with some of these florals and pumpkins. So I'm just trying to see. Ooh, that fit perfectly in there to where it didn't like go. <laughs> it didn't get um, like go on the punches. So that was perfect. So I'm going to add this in here just because I feel like there needs to be something connecting down there. Um, I'm going to move over to the other side. Ooh. Okay, let's see here. Trying to see. I'm so used to using florals that have corner pieces, and these ones don't have a ton. So now I'm trying to, like, figure out, you know, where to go from there as far as adding those extra little pieces. I have this big floral that I'm just having trouble peeling up. There we go. I got it. And I think this time, let's go this way. Okay, I'm going to go back to my little pumpkins. Pull in these lighter colored. like so just get these florals all up in here trying to figure out where I want to lay some of these I do have individual florals too that I'll have to go in with and then we do have some boxes in here but I think I might use my boxes so trying to find I want more florals down here let's just pause on the florals I love these though Ooh, it's like a little pretty like little pumpkin patch okay I want to get some like boxes in here and some things so that way I can layer um so we have a box I think this one would be nice if we can layer on top of that one Pull in some of that yellow, pumpkin spice, and everything nice. I feel like this goes really well. So I'm going to stick this right in here. And then I'm going to layer. Get my layering on. Because those match really well. And how perfect that it has pumpkins. And then we have pumpkins in there. 
All right, so that means we just pulled in some rose gold foil. So now we're gonna have to pull in more rose gold foil to make it all go together. We can pull in some green if we want to. Maybe I'll use green boxes. That might be, that might be a good, good thing to throw in here. I feel like I want some more. Okay, so we do have some things that have that foil in it. So I'll have to keep this page in mind because now I feel like we've got to add in that rose gold foil. We do have some quotes. Let's see here. Um, grateful, thankful, blessed. So we'll have to, I know I need more florals over here. I'm just like seeing it in the corner of my eye and I'm like, I want more florals over there. Um, my favorite color is October. Okay, let me get some boxes in here and then I think we'll be able to layer. Um, we'll be able to layer. So I might want to go in with green to get some of these greens in here. Maybe we'll go with the dark green. So she said she needs two boxes on the 11th. So we'll get some boxes in here. Put one right around there, and then maybe we can do a smaller, smaller box to layer. Put that there, and then I feel like we could put like a pumpkin or something on top of that. Ooh, I like that green with that. And then we need, I think we just need at least one box on the rest of the day. So we need a box on the 13th. I love layering, so I'm going to keep layering. Layering makes me happy. <laughs> Not many things these days make me happy, but layering a box gives me gives me all the joys. And then we need one on the 15th, 16th, and 17th. So let's put these up here. Um, let's see. I do want to give a little bit dimension for the boxes that we're using, so we'll do a bigger one on the 16th and then let's do one more smaller one on the 17th and I'm kind of just putting them in some different spots just to create because it's kind of blank over there because we haven't done a lot okay so I know she needs boxes for those days I do want to give her some checklists maybe just like one or two we won't go buck wild, but that way she has a place to put a few things here and there. So let's do a checklist here. Just put one over there and then let's do a short checklist over at the beginning of the week. Do I want to put it there or there? I kind of like it up here better. Let's do a short checklist just so she has a couple places to put her to-dos. Okay, now let's get more decoration in here because now I feel better um, that those, like, I love this part. Oh! Um, I do want to add, like, a little pumpkin chilling on top of something over here. So maybe we can add a little pumpkin, like, sitting, sitting up there. And then I think I should add one over on the other side. Just get these little pumpkins in here. Okay, and then I do want to add more florals because this side is lacking in that floral department. So I think I'm actually going to cut this in half. And then what I can do is I can put a floral over here. And then we can put this one over here. Yeah, there we go. Then we have those florals down at the bottom. Love it. And then now I can kind of just add florals wherever else I'm wanting florals. So, let's see. If I could peel them up, that'd be nice. Some extra florals up here. Love that. Okay, dokie. I just want more... I need more boxes, so I'm going to go into the second fall sticker book. Ooh, we do have rose gold in here, so I can pull in 
some more rose gold. This comfy and cozy would be cute. Keep that one in mind. Even just like a big, big quote. Do the cozy vibe is kind of pushing it, but the fall fun one would go good. Um, let's see. I just really want either like a giant quote or some boxes that I can kind of do this thing over on the other side. Cause it's feeling a little, a little sad over there. But I love FOMO so we could use that one. I do like that one a lot. Okay, so we'll keep that one in mind. I have my finger there. Ready to grab that one. I think that one is the one that I'm going to go and grab. Yeah, I think I am going to grab you. Let's grab this, but I love fall most of all. So I can get like a nice big quote over here. Where should I put you? I do still think I need a box over here, but we'll get there. But I love fall most of all. Okay, let's go in the seasonal fall book and see if I can't find, because I still feel like I need another, at least like one more full box or a double box. I just feel like I need something over there. Maybe we can do like the things I am thankful for. Just a reminder to take a second, think about it. Why aren't there a lot of full boxes in these books? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Um, we have weekend plans. Let's see. Fall reminds us that change can be beautiful. That one's cute. But I need something to layer it on. I like that one. And that can pull in some more of that red. Let me see if I can find, is there a box somewhere that I could just like use, use for its body <laughs> that I can just layer on. I just want to layer and I need those boxes that are like the decorative ones, but don't have a lot, you know, a lot with it. I feel like I used them all. I used the one that I did have. I have these. We could use the border of this. Ooh, what if we did this? Hang with me. Hang with me. So we have this border. Okay, okay. Stick with me here. And if we just put this ever so slightly. Up just to give it like a little bit more dimension and like a nice like little border I think down here would be good yeah I like it down here so then we'll do that bottom box as the one that fits where the box goes and then we'll stick that one there and then I'm going to stick some florals around it there we go I'm digging that so much more now. Now we have a box over there, and now I feel like it's a little bit more full, which is nice. Um, if I could pull up one of these dang florals, that would be great. <laughs> Without ripping it. Okay, so how do I want to lay... I kind of like just laying this on top here. Getting a big floral in there. Adding more of these floral vibes. I do have individual florals too. So I think I'm going to take some of these leaves. Because I have a bunch. And I'm just going to place them in some different spots. I'm trying to create like a, like a bed of flowers right there. If that's the right word I'm looking for. Then basically I'm going to take even more and just kind of build on that. I want to build like pretty um, florals and stuff around here. 
Okay, okay. Um, let's do... I feel like I just need more. More, more, more. Especially since I've deemed like this bottom area where all the flowers are going to be. Ooh, yeah, okay. I like that. Pretty. All right, what else can we throw in here for this spread? I have a giant pumpkin. Giant pumpkin. I think it's almost, we're almost there. We are almost to the stopping point. I'm just, I feel like it needs something. I need something like over here. So maybe we have like a quote or something that we can throw over here. Um, let's see here. We just give these books one more, one more glance over and see if I can't throw something because I just feel like I need one more thing. One more something over there. I just don't know what that something is yet. Some of these books I haven't been in in like a hot minute. It's been a minute. It has been a minute. Oh, well, that one was red, so that one wouldn't have worked. I was like, oh, there's another box I could have layered, but it's red and I used red. So that wouldn't have worked out. Thought about it. Uh, let's see... Just want one more something over there. I just don't know what that one more something is. Is it a quote? Is it a box? I don't know. I almost just tripped. I'm literally just standing here and I almost just tripped. So that's how my day's going. <laughs> okay, so not that one. Last book that we had that deals with fall. That big quote again. Hmm. Like autumn vibes. I don't want to pull in gold because I just used some rose gold in here. So I don't want to pull that in. Okay. Okay, I'm pulling out a couple more that have seasonal because I feel like there's got to be like something. I just need one little something. Okay, so oh, I forgot about these pumpkins. Dang, I forgot about those. Um, there's just so many different like seasonal books that I forget that there's other things in the world. Ooh, here's one. Chris Bear, Falling Leaves, Pumpkin Spice, Cozy Sweaters, Happy Autumn. I like that one because it's a light color. We have light color in here. So let's throw this one over here. And then we're going to pair it off with some... Um, some more of these like little florals like just like one little either like a bundle or maybe we just do maybe I'll just do um, one of these and then like a leaf there we go uh, in there. there we go ah this is so pretty. I freaking love this green with this spread. I don't think on camera you can tell how green that is, but I think it looks really, really pretty. All right, so that is Shannon's spread for October 11th through the 17th. All right, moving on to the next one. All right, so the next spread we're going to be doing is Beth's, and she wanted a currently page, so I've pulled out a page from a planner um, that is for October, so I figured this one would work just fine, and she's wanting, like, a autumn vibe, like, um, rustic feeling, and so, you guys, I completely forgot about the Homebody Seasons. I really don't even think I've used it, like, at all. I'm pretty sure me, I don't, have I not even touched this book? I completely forgot that this was a seasonal book, um, but look at these freaking cute pumpkins. We're using them. Oh my gosh. 
this is like one of those things like I just have so many books that I legitimately forget that a book exists and that's one of those things that happens. So we're going to go in the fall section which starts looks like it starts around here this is size for a dashboard layout but we're gonna make it we're gonna make it work um and then I'm also pulling out Kelva plans volume four planner words and she does have some currently stickers so I'm gonna give Beth some things that she needs to fill in when she gets this um and I expect to see it when it's all filled in Beth uh so and then I think I'm gonna use some gray boxes just because I don't think the autumn boxes really match super well um but there are grays in here so I figured why not use some grays um so let's see how we're gonna start this I kind of want to do like a full let's start this with like a big box somewhere <laughs> I think I want to put a box like right around here I think maybe up a little higher okay let me get this currently sticker actually before I commit before I commit to anything I'm gonna put a currently or do I want the currently or do I want the currently I guess that's what I need to decide first Ooh, ooh, don't go down um, let's put the currently right in here okay so we'll put currently and then I think I want to layer. I'm going to do a little bit of layering. So I'm going to put a full box here just because I like how that looks. And then we are going to put October when pie is a food group. <laughs> That's a cute sticker. Um, and then we have this really cute change is the hardest at the beginning, messiest in the middle, and best at the end. And I just think that's really pretty. So I want to layer that. I never do, um, I never do currently pages. So I'm really excited for this actually, because I'm not like that familiar with doing these pages. It's been a long time. It's probably been a couple years since the last time I did a currently page. Um, this one says there are friends and there's family. And then there are friends that become family. So I'm going to put this down here at the bottom just to get some cute quotes in here as I'm working my way towards those gorgeous pumpkins which I'm gonna start I'm gonna put some put some in here okay so currently and I think I'm gonna put one thing in here and I have the word grateful for so we're going to put currently and then grateful for, and then she can write right there what she's grateful for. And then I'm going to take some slightly smaller boxes. So let's do one. Well, let's see. Currently, let's see what words that we have. Let's do currently loving. And this one's actually from volume two that I have the loving. So I'm going to take that one from here. If I could pull it up, that'd be cool. Clear stickers are not my friend. <laughs> my nails are just so thick that they do not want to pull up. So I'm going to layer this one right up on top and stick that one right there. So that way she has maximum space to write. But we're going to do currently loving. And I do want to give her a little, a little pumpkin. Because these pumpkins are freaking cute. Okay, and then let's do another, we'll do another one that's that size. Maybe we'll put it down just a little bit. And let's do currently, um, let's see, I have currently reading, watching, feeling, dreaming, cooking. Let's do a show that she might be watching what's a good show okay and then again I want to put a little pumpkin Ooh, look at this one get in those greens okay and then maybe we do like one more one more over here so we'll slap that one there and then I feel like I need to do some orange pumpkins so let's get 
some of those orange vibes in here. And then let's do currently, hmm, let's do currently reading. I feel like fall's a good time to like cozy up and like read something. I need to do that. I need to be better about. Actually, I've been wanting, I've been having like a will to read. So I should probably get on that. So if you have any good book suggestions, let me know because I've actually been really in the mood lately to read. So I've been wanting like those reading vibes lately. I'm um, just going to add some more pumpkins. Put some more orange up there. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have like our main currently. And then I think I'm going to put a quote in this like focusing on. Oh, we have some leaves too. I feel like I should add some leaves. Even if it's just a little bit, just to get like that leafy vibe. Just get a little bit of leaves in here. I can't believe I haven't used this book. I suck. <laughs> Like, low-key, Beth, you might not get this because I kind of want to keep this now. I don't understand why I haven't used this. Maybe it was just because it was like a seasonal book. And I'm really not a seasonal planner. But I feel like more and more lately, I'm starting to really like the idea of being a seasonal planner. So maybe that's why. I don't know. But lately, I've just really been in that seasonal planning mood. So... I don't know, maybe it's just because I just wasn't feeling it before, but I'm feeling it now, and now I just want to do all the things seasonal vibe. So um, I'm just adding some of these leaves like they're kind of just like falling because I think that will be cute. Okay, I just want, now I just want a, um, I think this only, does this have all the seasons in it? I think it does, if I remember right. Like, you guys, I really haven't used this book. How have I forgotten? Like, talk about fail. Um, 100% autumn person. Love sweater weather. Oh, there's even a sweater weather sticker in here. Oh my gosh. I'm just, like, blown away that I really haven't used this. Like, how? How? I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know why I haven't used this. Um... Today is a great day. Get a little better each day. I kind of want to cover this up um, just to have like a different kind of prompt in there, I guess. So I think I'm going to use this get a little better each day. Whoa, probably should put it down just a little bit and just cover that up. Get a little better each day and then it has that same vibe in it. Make everything around you beautiful. Oh my gosh. How have I not used this book? I'm like legitimately mad at myself right now. Current mood. Pumpkin everything. Yep, pretty much. That's where I'm at. I'm like legitimately mad. Alright you guys, I think that's it. And then I'll let her kind of just, if she needs to fill in and if she has birthdays or things that she needs to remember. But I freaking love this. This was using Homebody Seasons. All right, so this one's for Beth, and let's move on to the next one. All righty, so my next spread is for Alana, and I'm going to be doing October 25th to the 31st, so we're going to be doing Halloween week for her, um, because she said do any week with any theme, and she just likes florals, so, um, but she gave me full reign, so we're going to do a Halloween vibe spread. I have uh, Calvo Plans rainbow boxes and florals. I'm going to be using the rest of these glorious orange florals in here and then I'm gonna be using because I forgot about this book you guys happy year and look how freaking cute these pumpkins are so we're gonna pull in some pumpkins and then I think I'm also gonna go back to that planty thing sticker book and pull in maybe some of like the spider webs and kind of make a Halloween vibe spread and then we'll also pull in some boxes so let's get started with that so I do know I have these really really pretty um spider webs and I kind of want to mix those up with these florals so I'm going to use I'm going to just use this whole page and we're going to get rid of all of these florals here because they're freaking gorgeous so let's go ahead and lay them whoop, laying them all down 
And then I have another corner piece. I think I'm going to put this over on this side. Just like so. Ooh. I freaking love Halloween. Okay, and then I'm going to take one of these spider webs. I think it would kind of be cool to put a spider web like over the floral, but I'm also like, I also want a spider web on its own. But maybe on this side. There's a smaller one. I feel like I want to use the smaller one if I do that. And then that way then the other the other spider web doesn't have to be like directly over. Let's just see. Let's just see how we're feeling. Oh, like pulls up the, if I could get it straight, first of all, that way it's like a spooky, spooky floral vibe, right? I like love that and I kind of want to keep doing it. I kind of want to do it more. All right, so we're covering those up with some spider webs. And then I'm going to keep adding the rest of the florals. And then the rest of the florals won't be affected by spider webs. But I just think that looks really, really pretty. I never thought to, like, layer clear on top of clear before. So that's kind of exciting. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Of course, I just, like, smushed it down. Please don't hate me. Uh, there we go. I decided I didn't like it there, so I'm moving it. <laughs> I was like, no, I don't like you there. Okay, I'm going to use these florals. I just don't like them there yet. I think I'm going to use them inside the spread. So let's get some boxes in here. I don't know what she's got going on in life, but I do want to make sure I add some boxes. I want to add these freaking cute pumpkins because they're so cute. I need some type of decorative box, though that goes along with all of this so oh this color matches really well and it has those same leaves so if we could pull these in we're gonna do some layering in here currently enjoying okay maybe we can use that for something else because that'll help me get some of these colors in here but that color matches those leaves perfectly Okay, and then I have a box I can layer on. Remember how we were having that trouble earlier finding something? Now I just need to find something to put on top of that that I can layer like on top. Pumpkin spice, everything. That one matches. Go on a walk. Um... You guys, I already ruined it for myself as far as, like, drinking hot things because I burned my tongue on my tea. I'm so excited to drink tea. And, you know, like, I just have zero patience to wait for things to cool down. So I 100% burn my tongue. And now drinking anything isn't fun. So, <laughs> so that's cool. That's where I'm at right now. Um, let's do this pretty orange one. Be like a pumpkin, be well-rounded, get plenty of sunshine, have thick skin, keep growing, and think big. So let's do that, and then we'll layer it on top of this one, because it's all colored. Well, actually, now I'm like, maybe I don't want to layer it. I lied. I'm a liar. Sorry. Now I'm like, I don't want to layer it on there. Because now, like, okay, see what I'm seeing? It's just like a lot of color. That's a lot. If anything, I need, ooh, 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 ooh. Where was that one at? Remember when I found the red one? I found a red one that I could layer on top of. There we go. I can pull in some of this maroon color. Let's put this over here. I love layering. Okay, there we go. I like that better. That other one, I just feel like had a lot going on color-wise, um, so I didn't want to use that one. And I think I'm going to use these strips. I always forget to use these washi strips, but this will help me get some more of that rose gold foil in here. So even if we just like add it as little extra, extra decoration, I'm going to take a, a card. And just trim off the extra. 
and then I feel like we can add this the rest of this elsewhere there we go gets a little bit more of that rose gold vibe in there okay let me go back to the florals real quick because now I feel like I have a spot to put this floral on I'm gonna lay this right up here actually get more of those florals in here um, and I do want to put more of the florals around on this other side too I'm gonna get it to where I have like maximum florilage happening is that a word probably not I'm just making up stuff now <laughs> oh my gosh I love that whoop, whoop. oh what is happening we fold it under ourselves. Exacto knife. There we are. Let me see if I can't pull the exacto knife part of that off. There we go. There we go. Now it's not underneath itself. Ah, that's better. Okay, where did <laughs> I already lost those pumpkins? I do want to use these pumpkins, and I feel like I have to now because I pulled in like these leaves. So I have to use some of these leaves. To get some stuff in there. I already freaking love this. I love this as is so far. Like I kind of don't want to touch it that much more. But we're going to keep touching it. Maybe I should do a smaller pumpkin. Let's do a little bit of a smaller one. Set that in there. And then we'll add some pumpkins. Over on the other side. So like that pumpkin didn't just come from. Nowhere. Just randomly shows up. <laughs> Um, and then we have some of those things over here. So I do want to add some on the other side just to kind of tie it all together. That green legitimately matches the green that's in here. So that's pretty cool. I'm just trying to figure out where I can start laying some of these things. It's hard sometimes combining, you know, different color scheme well not color schemes but it's different types of stickers you know like we have a more realistic floral and then we have these leaves that aren't so realistic but I feel like they'll still look really fun together we just have to get them to go together so I think I'm going to pull in some boxes let's go to the do I want to do the oranges yeah because I don't really have the right green so let's go to the oranges I'm just going to put some boxes in here, like that one, and then maybe we add one more over here, and I'm going to do this, ooh, you know, I need a bigger box, we'll put this one over here, maybe we'll put a couple checklists as well, I need a little bit of a bigger box because... I'm wanting to use this green sticker that says currently enjoying, which can be, and that's a good way to get more of that green color over there. And there's no checklist. Don't have a lot. I mean, there's one checklist, but it's different. So I think I'm just going to use my checklists. We could even use the yellow toned checklist. I feel like that goes with these colors really well. So let's add a couple checklists in here. Whoops, too low, too low. Right there. Add a couple of checklists in here just so she can get some stuff done. We'll do a little one. Get some things done. Ugh, oh, I love this so far. Boop. Oh, you know what? I changed my mind. I don't want to use this one. Boop. Well, let's put this one over here. I feel like it'll just look better. And then I think I am going to use a long one, but I'm just going to trim it. So if I put a long one in here, then where'd my X-Acto knife go? There you are. Just going to use this. And lightly trim that. That way it goes all the way down. I like the all the way down look a lot better. Right there at least. 
Okie dokie. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. I'm in love. Fall fun. AM, PM. I'm just trying to figure out how to incorporate some of those leaves. I don't know if I want to. Now I'm like, now I don't really want to incorporate the leaves. Maybe we won't. It's okay if we don't. I was just thinking like we could, but I don't think it's terrible if we don't. I kind of want to just like put more florals in here and then we'll call it good. So we're going to do some there. I have some on my other page that are like the teeny tiny. If I can pull them up. Some more of those florals in here. I have one more that we can throw in here. Oh, I love this. Love it. I have some more pumpkins. I could put some more pumpkins in here. I'm loving the pumpkins. They're so cute. I completely forgot that these pumpkins even existed, so my bad. Oh, you know what? We have more of this like greeny color. Greeny, that's definitely not a word, sorry. <laughs> we have more of this green color that we can pull in of like these leaves. So let's try and pull in some of these. And we'll just stick them in some spots to get some more of that color in here. Mm, I don't like that shape. Hold on, there's a small one. I think this smaller one will look a lot better. Just to get some of those, more of that color in there. All right, you guys, I think that's it for this one. I freaking love it. I love it. Oh, well, you know what? I know what I didn't do. Um, um, <laughs> oh gosh. Hmm. Oh, please I'm like thinking now I want to add I want to add a little maybe we'll add a box okay we'll add a box oh my gosh I freaking love this spread like the little like it's like a really subtle Halloween spread right with the spider webs it's like it could be for Halloween but it's also like really subtle where it doesn't have to be but I really <laughs> really really like it um, kind of want a big box because this is Halloween. Mm, 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 mm. Put that in there, and then I'm gonna go in with the planty thing, and let's just pull in like one little Halloween kind of feeling sticker. So let's see. We have little pumpkins. I might just use like the little candies. Use like the little candies as like a reminder, like that's Halloween. There you go. Like just super subtle. It doesn't have to be for, like this doesn't need to be a full on Halloween spread, but. Just like little things, like little, little teeny tiny touches. So it's not a full Halloween spread, but I freaking love this as a Halloween spread. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with this spread. You're not getting this one, Alana. I'm sorry. This is mine. <laughs> okay, so moving into our next spread, I have a memory planning spread for Eileen, and she wanted a spread done for either like the weekend of Labor Day weekend slash or the week, which, you know, they're kind of separated. So I'm just going to do like the week leading up to that weekend. They went fishing with her um, grandkids and all that stuff and her husband. So we're just going to do a fun spread with those. I have summer fun pulled out just because it has a lot of like adventure sticker books and or sticker book stickers um, and those kind of things like going on an adventure, you know, outdoors fun. So I figured that would be a good one to use. I'm actually using an undated memory old memory planner um which i'm so glad i had because i'm like i don't have any extra planner pages um but then i discovered that i had this so how perfect and then it already has some lines in there i think i'm going to put some boxes on these ones because i i don't like the doc i'm not a fan of dot grid or graph paper stuff so i'm going to cover those up with some boxes but i have my favorite silver washi tape so if i could find the end which i think i found it but I can't figure out. Nope, that's not it. I swear, I hate finding the ends of these. I say it every time. <laughs> I really need to get in the habit of just like 
folding them underneath themselves. There we go. So I'm going to use silver. Actually, you know what? There's a lot of gold. I lied. I'm a liar. I'm sorry. Let's go with gold. Just because there's a lot. Oh my gosh, I just did all that work. Here, let's do this one. This one's already unraveling a little bit. Um, but I'm going to add this up at the top. And we're going to cover up that black there. But we're going to use gold because there are a lot of gold stickers in the Summer Fun sticker book. I think there are some silver, but if there are, there's definitely not as many as the gold. So we'll go with gold washi up here. All right. And her pictures are all from that weekend, but I'm going to spread them out throughout the week. Um, and then she can really just use this week more of like a, as like a journaling, like a journaling week. So she can journal and then I'm going to leave this spot over here that has gratitude. So that way she can use that. So I'm going to put a couple pictures that I, I want to make sure I'm leaving her some good space for, um, Oopsies, this ran out. I'm going to make sure I'm leaving her some space so that way she has lots of room to journal about that day and can put, you know, what happened, maybe put like the weights of the fish if she remembers those things, all that good stuff. All right. I should have checked that before I started, but I guess I didn't realize my tape was almost all gone. So I'm going to go ahead and just lay a couple of these over here on the side just because I don't have... I want to leave room in the spread itself and then that way we still have a space so she can write like some gratitude stuff um i do like this one because it this one does have like a little bit of a bolder line but it's also super helpful <laughs> that it has that bolder line so i'm just going to go in and get um some of these laid down so that way they're out of the way then I don't have to worry about them moving around. I think I'm actually going to use this picture to cover up this graph paper. Because I'm not a fan of the graph graph paper all the time. So let's just lay a couple of these down that I know will be fine if I put them down. Okie dokie. Uh, yeah, let's do this one there. Did a couple of doubles so we could get the whole shot of what was going on in her pictures. These are so fun. I don't even remember the last time I went fishing. Like, I remember it was with my poppy. And I remember I was really little. Um, and it felt like the drive was forever to get there. But come to find out, like, it's really not that far where we went which I think is funny, but you know, as a kid, everything in the car is forever, right? Um, <laughs> so I just think it's funny, like how I remember it is like, oh my gosh, we drove forever to get there, but I know where it is now that I'm older. And I'm like, oh, that really wasn't that far. But my kid brain thinks, you know, it was a hundred miles away or something like that, which I just think is really funny. Okay, I'm gonna leave this one free. I think all, all the other pictures are down. So like I said, I'm using Summer Fun just because this one has a lot of outdoorsy um, type stickers. And I know a lot of it's related to like summer, but I figured we can use some of the stickers. So I have like Adventure. Let's use this Adventure. Put this right in here. Going on an adventure. And then we have like this Let's Go sticker that in there I was looking for like a sticker that said fishing but there wasn't any one but we have like this ahoy matey which I think is kind of funny because it's like they're on a boat you get it <laughs> I think it works um but there was some full boxes that I want to use so I have this explore more I'm gonna put that one and then there is another one that I saw Ooh, we have like this fun day. Let's put that right over there. Um, family day, this week's activities, hang out. Okie dokie. Oh yeah, see there was some silver in here, but just not a ton. Oh, there's another Explore More that had silver on it. I have another Let's Go. I do need to add some full box stuff. 
Um, let's see, hang out, big day, lazy day, say cheese. I like this say cheese because everybody's looking at the camera. I think I'm going to use blue, not lose. I think I'm going to move this Ahoy matey. If I can get it peeled up, where'd my exacto knife go? Probably should know where that is considering I have no clue what I did with the lid. So it's very possible that I could like shank myself. <laughs> so I need to keep an eye on where my thing is. Okay, I guess we're leaving that there because it's not wanting to come up nice and pretty, which is okay. Okay, dokie. And then let's see. So I did look. I don't see. I don't see a go fishing. Which I'm like, how do we not have a go fishing sticker in here? I feel like that's something you can do in the summertime. Is it not? Do I just not know anything about outdoor stuff? I'm not an outdoorsy person, so maybe that could be very, that could be very, very true. That I just, I just don't know. I'm not an outdoors person at all. I don't like being outdoors. <laughs> I'm like, I'm good. I'll stay home. I am super boring that way, for sure. Um, let's use this make the most of today. Um, where do I want to put you? Let's do that. Make the most of today. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and lay this one down because we can lay it down now. I think I'm going to use rainbow. Um... I think I'm going to use the rainbow sticker book to get some more boxes in here so she has lots of space to write and she can really just write about that day. So let's slap this under here. That's better. Where's rainbow here? I want to do, I think I'm going to do another full box there. So let's go with red there's red on the other side so she has lots of space to write and then we have these two spaces that she can write in and let's maybe give her one more spot let's do like one more spot to write in uh, let's see let's see let's see I'm trying to figure out what color what color can I use? I feel like I should do yellow, maybe. But of course I have no yellow in this one. Pull out my backup. There we go. We get like one more spot for some writing. All right, just like that. I like it. I need to pull out some other books to do some more, um, to put some more stuff in here. This family sticker. Hmm. I kind of want some greenery, so I think I'm going to pull out have this book just on the side because I used it and this one has some like leaf stuff I think doing leaves in here could be cool because look at all the trees that are all around them I feel like this could be like a cool addition and a way to get some like mass decoration in here but of course now I think this piece is way too big okay let me <laughs> Of course, I pulled out the biggest piece, and that piece just does not work. Okay, let's see. But I'm going to use this to kind of be like the trees, because they are surrounded by leaves. And I think this will be a really good filler. There we go. This one's a little bit smaller. So I think I'm going to chop this up a little bit. Oops. Something dropped on the floor. I have no clue what it was. You can still read that underneath there. Explore more. So I'm going to put some of these. Good Lord, I cannot see the edges 
Good ways to save my life, man. Clear stickers. So we're gonna do a couple of these leaves to give it more of that like outdoorsy outside feel. Oh yeah, okay, that's starting to make it look better for sure. I have this other one and if we can put it down here, we'll just go over that picture just a little bit but then be on the sides. Oh my gosh, I love this so much more now. Now we're getting somewhere. Yeah, I just like the idea of pulling in like these leaves and things. I feel like this will make it seem more of that like outdoorsy vibe, which is what we were needing. Hold on, I have a bigger like little tree branch thing. Pull that in here. I think I'm going to trim some of that off. So, there's my X-Acto knife. I'm just going to take that and gently go along that and then peel off the rest of that. Nope, or not. Okay, in my defense, that works like 90% of the time. The one time. <laughs> There we go. Being stubborn. Rude. Um, and then I think I'm just going to go ahead and trim this so it's flat. And then we'll lay this one on the side here. Again, getting in more of those leaves. Ah, I love this so much more. It's starting to pull in that like outdoorsy leaf vibe, which I feel like is what this was needing. Oh my gosh, I feel so much better now. <laughs> like I said, I'm not an outdoorsy person. So like making things outdoorsy, not my forte. But I definitely feel like putting some leaves and stuff in here is definitely giving it more of like a this is an outdoors weekend kind of vibe. So I'm just going to fill in some of these spaces. Get one more. One more little bundle here. I do want to leave that space empty for her so that way she can fill in whatever little extra things she needs. Maybe let's do this. Flat. Over. I think I did it flat on the wrong side. <laughs> oh no, I like it over here. Do like a bunch of leaves in that box. Oh my gosh, that feels so much better now. I don't know if I have any suns left, but I want to put a sun in here. I think I might have used all my suns though, and I don't have a backup of this one. Did I use all the suns? I can use the glasses though. glasses on there. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Oh no, I have a sun. I have one sun left. <laughs> I do want to just add like one, one little sun somewhere. Over here would be good. Alrighty, there we go. There we go. All set. Alright, so then all she has to do is just put the days that she wants this leading up to. Because really, I'll let I'll let you decide, Eileen. Um, if you want this to be the week before that's leading up, so like this would be like your Labor Day weekend, or this could be like Labor Day and then the week after. I'll let you decide. But hopefully this is enough space for you to just kind of really fill in all the fun from that day because it looks like you guys had so much fun all right let's move in to our next spread okay so next spread i'm going to be making is a big vertical spread for adita and she just wanted an undated um big spread just fall themed so that's what we're going to make for her today i had already stuck this down because i thought i was filming and then apparently i wasn't but i'm glad 
I caught it like at the very beginning. So I stuck this one here. This is from um, the Mambi stick version of the Seasons of Color. Uh, that way I could fill in some of the space because I'm gonna be honest, y'all, I am not used to um, planning in a big spread. So we're just gonna try our best to make it work because I've never, at least like, yes, I do plan. I mean, I plan in big spreads all the time, but as far as like, um, you know, like for just like a regular spread, memory planning spreads, I feel like are just so easy and this is a lot different. So I'm gonna just pull in some stickers here. This is from the seasonal. This one's an older book, but it has some super cute stickers in it. And I thought the color schemes went really well with the florals from the seasons of color. So that's why we're gonna pull these in together. I'm gonna stick that right up at the top. I am gonna leave some space as well. Um, up here for some writing. I'm going to put some boxes in here. Sorry, I just realized I think I explained all of this stuff um, in the beginning of the other video and then I realized I wasn't filming. So I do have a backup of this book just because I've used a good majority of mine, but thankfully I was able to find another one. So I'm going to use some of these here to layer and help me kind of just fill this space Oops! as my X-Acto knife rolls off. So I'm gonna stick this one right in here and then actually I didn't put that one down all the way. I'm actually gonna use my space of this big and put that up there. So it's like layered, but within the big. I think that looks kind of cool. Trying different things, you know, cause I don't, I don't usually plan in this, this size, so we're trying new things here. We're gonna make it work. Um, let's see. So like they have some really cute, but like these colors go really well with those. So that's why I was like, let's just do a little bit of both. And then I'll pull in some of my own autumn boxes. I think we're gonna decorate with these really pretty leaves as well and kind of tie these in. We tie these into these florals because they do match so let's try this oh, of course I have some in my first book but that's okay but I'm gonna pull some of these in because these are gorgeous and then that way I can tie in like these leaves and like these colors as well so I think I'm actually gonna trim that a little bit <laughs> but I had dropped my X-Acto knife on the floor, so I go get that. There we go. Pull that off. Oh my gosh, I love how this looks. I love that. I love when things go well. <laughs> okay, so I want to look in here and see if I can pull in any more of those florals. I have this one. It does have rose gold, and I think there is some rose gold for those. I want to see if there's any clear options. I mean, I have a fall vibes. I have a little one. I don't really have a ton of clear options. Let's see. I have this one. This one could work. Can we make this guy work here? Maybe we can... Oop. Oh, I almost just flung my thing off of the off of the table again. Okay, let's see. It's just like a weird, it's a weird shape. This is why I love corner florals so much because I just feel like it's so much easier to figure out what to do with it. I think I'm actually gonna chop this in half. Which it's like, but I just feel like it makes it so much easier to work with these when they're smaller. So maybe if we put this one up here in like the weekend area. Oh, excuse you. That was rude. Was not ready for you to go anywhere. Okay, I'm gonna take my exacto knife because I did not cut that nice and straight apparently. 
we go. Come on. Don't want to press too hard because I don't want to go through through the paper too, but I think my X-Acto knife is a little dull, which isn't a bad thing right now considering I don't have the lid to it. I have no clue where my lid went to that. Okay, that looks nice. That looks good, that looks good. I'm trying to figure out if I want to use this in the same spot or maybe I'll just wait. Put that one back for now and we'll just wait. We shall wait. Let me get some boxes in here. Kind of fill this in and then also maybe some checklists, which I think I'll put up here since I think they'll fit a little bit better um, now that I have this guy making it smaller because my checklists are sized for um they're sized for a classic so they may fit oh yeah look at that that fits nicely proud of you <laughs> um so i'm gonna give her a couple checklists here maybe we can give her a small one down there fit really well there huh, so when in doubt just put like a thick board or something something and that'll help it a ton I think I'm gonna put a little checklist down here at the bottom as well give her some checklists so she can check off some things in life and then I feel like we should put some over on the other side just because we have them on every day of the week on this side this is also crooked which is bothering me so I'm gonna fix it. Oh, I made it worse. I made it worse. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's better. I'm thinking I can put something up above this so that way it... I think I'm gonna put something up above there so that way it makes sense why that's down. But I think I'm only gonna give her some checklists like Monday through Friday. Because who wants to have to-dos on the weekend? Nobody. So I'm just going to give her checklist Monday through Friday. That way we have that same kind of look. And then we're going to go in and give her some boxes so she can put some stuff down. So we'll give some boxes over here. I think a box would look nice. I'm using the slightly bigger boxes just because I think they'll look a lot better than if I use the small ones. I'm going to layer. And then layer one more. Ish. There we go. It's coming together. <laughs> I tell you. It is. It's so different using a big size. Like, so different. Like, a good different. It's a good challenge for me. That's why I wanted to do this, because I was like, this will challenge me to just do different things with my spreads, which is a really good thing. So, I'm glad. So glad. Um, Let's see. I'm trying to see if there's any other. So, I do have some gold. I have a gold I can layer on top of. I feel like I just want to like take out I need something for like weekendy I have all the other seasonal books pulled out I just don't know if they'll match necessarily because this is such like a um, certain color scheme this maroon matches really nicely just trying to see if I can make Oh, you know what I want to do? Let's go back and let's use that. Okay, let's use the all the fall vibes, but I'm going to take a full box, or not a full box, what are these called? A double wide, <laughs> double wide. I'm going to take this like orangey yellow color because we have that color. I'm going to put it over here and I'm actually going to just use this as a border use that as a border there yeah that's nice nice like little border and that gets more color in it and then I think I'm gonna put more of those leaves 
fill it up with the leaves here. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna stick this right down here. I'll just reattach you. Decided to sticker surgery. <laughs> Jokey. Add some more of these leaves. I like this. Dude, maybe I should just get a big just to like play in all the time because this is a challenge, but I really like I like having this little extra challenge. I'm gonna trim this so it's flat. I'd rather things like kind of disappear into the into the lines almost. I really do like doing this though. What a different challenge that I haven't had in a long time. I'm gonna kind of put some leaves like they're falling. Like maybe they were a part of the flowers but they're all falling out. I have all these teeny tiny, teeny tiny little pieces. those like they're falling oh my gosh I love the color scheme I love it let's see is there anything else in this book no I have all the autumn books out because we've been using them this whole time so I'm just gonna kind of glance through here and see if there isn't something else that I can just like throw in here Beautiful fall. Maybe we can pull in. There's not really any words that I want to use from there. We already have a couple quotes, so we're covered on quotes. Those are a different style. Okay, not a there. Okay, look in the last two really quick. I feel like I want something up there. I just gotta figure out what that is. Maybe if I can find like a little header something to just stick there. Um, let's see. That's what I should look for is something to stick right above that. Can do a today sticker. Matches all the rest. Today. Yeah, I think that's it, you guys. I'm looking through the last one. Just gonna flip through this really fast. But I think that's it for this spread. I want to give her room if she needs to add anything else extra. Ooh, now I kind of like these today stickers better. <laughs> I feel like the green might look a little bit better. Just slap that in here. I like this today better. There we go. All right, you guys, I think that is it for this spread. So big spread for Adita. I love it. I love these leaves with these florals. What a fun combo. All right, moving on to our last spread. All right, our last spread is for Nicole, and I'm giving her an undated vertical spread, and we're going to give some fall vibes. So I'm going to go back in with this planty thing because of these gorgeous, and I really am just envisioning like, these trees down at the bottom so we're gonna just start by throwing in these trees down here and I'm gonna try to put different sizes next to each other so that way we have that depth look a little bit but I think this will be really cute and then all down here we're gonna have some super cute um, tree 
tree vibes going. So I'm just going to do this all the way across, which is definitely going to take a minute, considering pulling these up is not my friend. <laughs> the struggle is real when as I'm trying to pull these up, but it's just because my nails are so thick. I'm also like afraid to use my X-Acto knife because I know it'll stab me, like, and I have no clue where my tweezers went, so I just have a lot of things against me with this one. <laughs> But I'm going to try my best to get these pulled up, which something weird's happening with this page. There we go. It was like stuck on the on the top. Okay, I'm going to try to use my exacto knife and not stab myself. There we go. Um, nope, we've got to put a different different tree first. Different tree. Oh, just keep using the exacto knife, I guess, because that's a lot easier. Whoa. Throw that in there. Do one more little green one down here. Okay. It's a little filled of trees. These trees are so pretty. I'm just going to lay all of these down. Just kind of let them overlap each other. I had some more green ones. Whoa. Oh, as I fling this across the table. one more big one so I'm trying to like space it space it out a little bit because we have one last really big one and then we'll stick in some of that orangey color okay. then we have a cute little tree line down at the bottom I kind of want to go in and just like add even more like fill in some of these little spots, not all of them, but just some of them. Just add a little bit more dimension and depth. So I'm like, might as well use them. Go for it. <laughs> um, like I said, I'm just adding more dimension in some of these spots here. Just adding a little bit more down there. I feel like I need one more on the other side. Maybe two more. Big orange one. There we go. Just adding more, more trees. More, more, more. Okay. There's also these really cute, like, trucks. Um... Yeah, also just need some, have some little cute trucks on here that I feel like I want to add. So I'm going to go for the smaller ones. If I could pull them up. Let me, like it's driving away. Actually, it's perfect because it's like driving on this page. And then we're going to have it driving off the page on the other side. Cute. Sorry, I'm lifting it up because these are shiny. They're shiny stickers. Okay. Now we have, I'm trying to see, I don't know if there's boxes in this book that match those at all. I don't think there are. I think those ones are just kind of on their own. But these florals do have some of the same colors, so we could add some florals in here if we wanted to. But let's just go in with my boxes, and then I'm going to have to pull out, I'm going to pull some stickers from some of those other fall books. 
So let's just see if I can get some full boxes in here. Have these cute, beautiful fall. Oh, fall, it's nice to see you again. It'll be cute. Matches nicely. Just throw that in there. And then, let's see here. Doo doo doo. Put, let's see, kind of want a double box, double wide box here. Let's see, I'm like pulling all of the full boxes, and then I'm like, oh, I don't have any more full boxes to pull out. Fall, fall reminds us that change can be. Beautiful. Put this right above here. If I can put it straight, that would be nice. That's a nice little quote over there. I need some layering going on right now. That's what I need. I'm in need of some layering. I wonder if I can. Are you going to be nice to me? Please. I don't normally pull stickers out, but I'm like, we're just going to layer on top of it because I don't want to risk it. That's being risky. Um, but I do want to add more of that green tone since we just added it there. So I do have a green double box. We can put a weekend plans sticker. Okay, that helps get some green over on that side. Love that. And then I have autumn boxes here. So I'm going to give her a couple checklists and some boxes. So I think we can really do any of the colors because we have all these colors in here. So we can do this really pretty golden yellowy color. I think I want to put one on this side and maybe one over on the other side. Okay, and then we could even put some of the darker red for some things to do. And then we'll make up the rest with boxes, I think. So let's put a little box over here. And then I can put some more of this yellow. Again, I want to layer. So I'm put that on top there. I can do a bigger box at the beginning of the week. Again, layer some boxes here. Get some layering vibes going. Could even add in some of the green if we wanted to. I want to add green over here so that way we have a little bit more breaking that up. Ooh, I love it. Ah, you know, every time I start a spread, it's like one of those, like, no idea how it's going to come out kind of thing, just like hoping and praying that it comes out cute and it's starting to get there. Whoop, whoop. We are getting there. I'm trying to hurry to you guys. I know. We've been going for a while. My foot is falling asleep. I, mean, I keep like standing on one foot like that's going to make things better. I don't know why I choose to stand on one feet, but or one foot, one feet, one foot. <laughs> I'm choosing. I'm choosing to put myself in more pain than I need to, apparently. So it's fine. I'm just looking for like little touches that we can add in here. So I'm going through all the books because I do want to see if there's like little, just like little cute touches that we can add decorative wise. Fall bucket list, give thanks. I 
feel like I just want something up here, but maybe we should just go back to this book because that's where we were at. And we can add some of these cute, these trucks are so cute. And I'm just like, I want to add more, but I also wanted the decoration to mainly be at the bottom, but I want to add like just a little bit. So maybe we can just take the last of these trees just and just like add them in some spots up here. Like not too much, but just adding them in. I have one more. Yeah, there we go. That feels better. Just like a little, like I wanted it not to be like a crazy decorative, but I just wanted to have all the decoration down at the bottom. But pulling it up really, really helped, I think. I mean, at least I think so. I like it like that. I think it's really cute. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to put one more little truck in here or not. Trying to decide. The little trucks are just so cute. And I'm trying to stay away from the florals, but you guys, it's hard. I know, like, pretty much every spread so far has had florals in it. I'm going to put one in. We're just going to put just a little bit. Just to, like, just a taste. Not a lot. I promise. We're not going to go crazy. I just want to add, like, a little, little sploosh little sploosh of floral. I can't help it, you guys. I love my florals too much to not use them. Um, now I feel like I need just like a smidgen on the other side. <laughs> you guys are like, oh, there she goes. Um, I was doing so good too, not using florals, but you guys, I can't. I can't do it. I'm weak. Let's make this flat. Flatten this and then we're gonna stick this inside of here right in the center little weekend pits there we go okay i'm done i'm done i'm not doing any more florals that's it <gasps> i love how this came out this is my absolute favorite thing ever i love it all right you guys so there we go there is there is nicole's spread then we have adita's spread in her big vertical we have Beth's Currently page. I love that one. Then I have Shannon's spread. And then finishing with Eileen's memory planning spread. I know this was a super long video, um, but this was so much fun because it really challenged me to try. I mean, I feel like this is my style, but I also feel like I did some different things. Like this one, I think out of all these so far, this one might be my favorite, or at least one of them. I think the spider webs just make it so fun. It's like that little hint of Halloween. Um, and then doing a currently spread, I haven't done one of those in forever. And then doing a big spread was challenging. Like all these was just so, so much fun. Um, but anyway, you guys, that is it for this video. I so hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye.